Uh, the velocity uh, position graph for a test vehicle is shown determine its acceleration when s is equal to 100 and when s is equal to 175 meters. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering uh, Mechanics and Dynamics of 14th edition by R.C. Bella. These are the equations that we intend to use. Okay. Right. These three basic uh, kinematic equations and the derived one from the two, which is A dS equal to V dV. Okay, so there we go. So, first things first, let's find the equation that governs these lines, these intervals from 0 to 150 and then from uh, 150 to 200. Coordinates there we have 0, 0. Uh, there we have 150, 50. And here we have uh, 200, 0. Okay. So in the interval as 0 to 150 meters we have um, we are going to use this equation remember this equation i is equal to mx plus c where we have y will have b m is the gradient and uh, x is a uh, position and then plus the intercept okay and m itself is just equal to a change in v divided by changing divided by changing s all right so having said that uh, then we'll say v is just going to be equal to m which is the change in uh, v so we'll say change in v and change in s by s plus c Therefore, this just gives us change in V for the first in a segment. This is going to be equal to a 50 minus 0 divided by divided by 150 minus 0. Okay. Then times S, then plus C. And V is just going to be equal to V is going to be equal to uh, that's 1 over 3 uh, s plus c of course we know that for c you can get one coordinate there plug in we know already what it is but i'm just trying to show n plus c therefore our c is just going to be equal to zero okay so the equation is just v is equal to 1 over 3 s so this is the equation for this is uh, v is equal to 1 over 3 s then the other interval from 150 uh, to 200 meters in this interval again we have v equal to change in v divided by changing uh, s times s plus c and our V is just going to be equal to, uh, we have uh, 50 minus 0 divided by 150 minus 200. N times S plus C. Okay, so fitting in, going to use this coordinates there. So we'll have a 0 equal to uh this one just gives us minus s uh, minus uh, one n times s which in our case we chose 200 plus c therefore c is just going to be equal to 200 and the equation becomes equal to minus s plus 200 so this is the equation for this line uh, our V is just going to be equal to minus 
s plus 200 so once we have that then uh, we are going to use this particular equation here so we said a is ds is just equal to b dv okay so we can write this as just a is equal to b dv ds okay and our dv oh come on let me use black sorry so i said we're going to use that equation a ds uh, v dv making just a subject to formula this just becomes this okay and um let's go to our interval the first interval which is uh s from zero to uh, 150 meters our dv ds is equal to uh, dv which is 1 over 3 s with respect to ds therefore our ds our dv ds okay it's just going to be equal to 1 over 3 all right so and then we know that of course our v is just 1 over 3 so using this equation that we just talked about v dv plug in in all these values then we'll have a is equal to uh 1 over 3 s okay times 1 over 3 therefore a is just going to be equal to 1 over 9 s so this is the function for uh, a so let's find the value of s uh, the value of s I, I mean the value of a at s equal to 100 the value of a at s equal to 100 you just plug it in there 1 over 9 of 100 you know what it is just calculate it directly so this becomes 100 divided by 9 and this gives us 11.11 meters per second square so let's go to the second interval which is s from 150 to 200 okay so what do we have so our dv there ds is equal to uh, minus s plus 200 this divided by ds therefore our dv ds is just going to be equal to minus 1 and then we know already to say our v is equal to minus s plus 200 right so using this particular equation a equal to b dv uh, divided by ds we have our a equal to b which is minus s plus 200 and then times minus 1 therefore a just becomes equal to uh, s minus 200 and therefore a at 175 because 175 is in the second intervals between 150 and 200 this just gives us that's 175 minus 200 we have a minus 25 which is uh, the acceleration some deceleration taking place in this region all right so let's just outline the solutions so we have this value here that we are just from finding uh, which is acceleration at s equal to 100 and this in the interval 0 to 115 and the acceleration at s is equal to 175 and this in the interval 150 to 200 so i hope this particular video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and I'll see you in my next uh, screencast.